So, welcome to Kurt Murdoch Uncut. It's a Monday, and I'm at the end of a day's screenings. If you're a national press critic, what happens is Monday and Tuesday, you see all the films that are going to open on Friday. And one of the films that I saw today was Mars Needs Mons, the new film by Robert Zemeckis, which I'm sure you already know has absolutely tanked. Mom? Let her go! Wait, let me go! I'm in a spaceship. This is so cool! I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Welcome to Mars. My name is Gribble. This is Two Cat. Check it. It's a 3D animation done with motion capture. It cost $175 million to make, and it has really done badly at the American box office. In fact, there have been loads of articles saying, oh, it's heralding the death of 3D. People are finally saying enough is enough. And as you know, I'm very skeptical about 3D, but you'll be glad to know this blog is not about that. It's about this. Just before the screening, I was sitting around with some other critics, and we started saying, God, you know, can it really be as bad as the American box office suggests? Is it really that much of a turkey? Is it really a disastrous film? And as I was sitting down at the beginning of the film, I kind of started to wonder whether, did I really need to know that? Was that going to somehow affect my judgment of the film? And I watched the film, and to be honest, it isn't any good. But you know what? It's not terrible. I've seen worse films. And then I started to think about that same morning, I had gone on the internet to see how Sucker Punch had done at the UK box office. I'd mentioned when I reviewed it on Radio 5, very badly incidentally, that it had been knocked off the top spot in America by Diary of a Wimpy Kid 2. And I sort of took this somehow as an indication of how bad it was. When did that happen? When did I start taking box office figures as an indication of how good or bad a movie may be? I also remember when I reviewed Scott Pilgrim versus the world, I was very conscious of saying, you know, despite the fact that it failed in America, it's really good. Well, what does it matter? Did you need to know that? And I started casting my mind back to when I was a kid. You see, when I was young, we went to see movies. Nobody knew how well they'd done, either in England or in America. Now, OK, you knew if things were massive hits, like Jaws you knew about, for example. You knew it had broken box office records. You'd seen queues of people queuing to get into the film, but you didn't know figures. Now, every single movie that comes out, everyone can go on the internet, turn on the radio, watch the television, and know detailed figures about its box office performance. OK, maybe it's empowering you to make better choices, but maybe it's telling us something we not only don't need to know, but shouldn't know. Have we lost something in knowing about box office? Let me know. Ah, when are you going to shoot a laser at someone? You should bring them a change of underwear!